not going to let you escape. You're going to die here. What have I done? Shannon, stop! What a joke, calling my name. Did you ever have the right to call me by my name? You abandoned me when I was just a little girl. Line? If you must kill someone, kill me. What good is there in getting revenge against Alyssa? Revenge? Maybe you're right. But there must be a better way. What a foolish girl. Who is that? My daughter. Huh? My reaction exactly. What the hell? So, not like it's revealed in the game, you know, the main material of the story. I'll explain after this next scene. Ooh, this place is scary. Oh, thank you for just reminding me of that. I had almost forgotten that this was supposed to be scary. Some kind of tool has been placed here. Okay, that makes it sound like you want me to get it, but no? Uh, detective. My investigation's over. I just found Tate's body. There's no sign that the number of zombies is decreasing, and it's time to get out of here. Are you gonna try to escape? Zombies will get us and eat us if we stay here like this. Let's try to get out of here together. If you say yes, it leads to the B ending, the second best ending. But it just ends the game right there. You sure? I just can't run away and leave things like this. You know that scene made absolutely no sense whatsoever? I'm about to explain it to you. In the drama CD, it is revealed that Shannon is the biological daughter of Alan Hale, whereas Alyssa is his adopted daughter. When, I think, uh, when he and his wife divorced, he conceived one child by her, and, uh, when he and his wife divorced, Shannon was sent to live with relatives, or I think I think probably it's uh, his wife died and she was sent to live with relatives, even though he was perfectly capable of taking care of her. And she lived with relatives without her father, and Alyssa was adopted by Alan Hale. And one day, Shannon saw... Alyssa and Alan Hale having fun as father and daughter, and she swore revenge against Alyssa. Not the father who had abandoned her, but with the girl who had nothing to do with it. So this guy sends his biological daughter away for no reason so he can adopt another kid, and he loves her more than his daughter, his biological daughter instead of loving them the same. And it's like, honestly, Shannon's reaction is pretty out of whack, but uh, I think she was right, righteously angry here. Does it make sense? No. But either way, I blame Alan.
Oh, and she just happened to have a cyanide pill in her pocket, too. And Alan has no reaction whatsoever to seeing his daughter commit suicide in front of him. I except for... Uh, she's stupid. What a likable character. That's not the only thing Alan Hale did. You're about to find out much more. And why he is the true villain of this game. That was either the last zombie or the second to last zombie. I hope it was the last one. And we can just finish this up. Here we go to the ending. We did it. Make sure to keep your mouse visible. Your cursor visible. I envied you. Your brilliance. Your wealthy family. Everyone must die. Talking to you won't do any good. Sorry, how rude of me to forget, since I was the one who made you crazy. Father? Alyssa, you are... You are not my daughter. You're the daughter of George Maxwell. I was jealous of this man. 
So to make him fall, I dug you up from the Maxwell's grave. What are you talking about? Father, I, d I don't understand. Neither do I. You were the cursed child of the Maxwell family. The daughter with the cruel alter ego. The cursed daughter born into the Maxwell family every few generations. Everyone must die. For some reason, you have to panic at that part. I... I wasn't done with my monologue. I loved you as if you were my own daughter. Unlike that other daughter. I never thought of you as a tool to harm anyone. So I... So I infected the statue with bacteria. To make him go crazy. Not following this Father. line of logic here. Goodbye, Alyssa. Hurry and leave. This building is going to blow up. <laughs> of course it is. Wait, Father. Everyone must die. You're not my father. Lie down. You're not my father. My father is the evil guy. Look at this! I'll get him with this. Do you know what you're doing? Digging up the Maxwell grave? You think the curse is real? It's... it's pure absurdity! The curse of the Maxwells is just an old wives' tale. Then why are you digging... her up? None of this is ever explained! It's hard, isn't it? Hard. They did it to themselves. Everyone's didn't dead, they? and it's all my fault. Maybe so. Nice. It would have been better if I had died. I'm not going to die. It's not that you've died there once already, you know. How do you know that? Well, what? I guess I've got to get rid of those. What zombies. does that mean? Who are you? It's not gonna be easy. Why is this the A ending? This is horrible. All right, so that was the full, that was the full Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. Did you like it? Did you like this game? Was it worth it to get the A ending? No, it absolutely was not. This is definitely one of the worst officially released games I've ever played in my entire life. And I, I hate it so much that I kind of like it. Um, because, I don't know, there's some... At least I'm feeling an emotion towards this game. Do we need to go over why this game is so bad? Um, if you still don't know how why I hate this game so much, I want you to go back and watch those scenes where I was going through two different elevators and stairs and doors just to get to one fire extinguisher and then going all the way back and having to do it all over again. The story makes absolutely no sense and they try to make it make sense with the drama CD, um, stuff revealed in the drama CD, but then it makes even less sense. <sighs> like, why? I think the original um, concept of this game is good, like the idea that you can do different things if you're uh, character is in a different state of mind, um, and I 
I just can't believe how bad this game is. The, the graphics are really bad. Even for its time, they are horrible. Um, they are a bit better than in Clock Tower 1, but that's not really saying much. But at least Clock Tower 1 had its own sort of charm to it, and it was scary. Um, like, Clock Tower 1 is way better than this. It's, I don't think it's a masterpiece like some people do, but it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's pretty good. Um, and just the voice acting is horrible, except for Bates and Shannon, and Alyssa is okay, but Bates, Bates does a really good job. Um, I have no idea how they convinced him to be in this game, but he's the only good part. Um, so, the fr it, some people suggest, like, remaking this game. I honestly don't know if that's worth it. There are much better games that should be remade, um, or games with a lot better, uh, concepts with just poor execution, but the concept itself isn't really all that great. It's just, it just has a potential to be good. Um, this is Stephanie's laugh in Japanese. It's playing over this. Um, the music is, it's not fitting. And the gameplay is awful. And the characters are not likable. So this game has nothing going for it besides, you know, Bates. Uh, the puzzles are basically just find key, get key, put key in thing, get other key. Everything is a key in this game. Um. I can't think of anything else I like. I really can't. What the hell is developer number one? This song is actually kind of catchy. Oh, I like the thing with Maxwell and the, uh, the way his chase scene worked, like, his, uh, hatchet scraping across the floor. That was a bit scary. Um, but we're great grading on a curve here, so, you know. Translator, Dana Russell and Hideko Russell. Um, those, those two are the people you have to blame for this awful translation. So, there they are. Alright, well, studio cliche. How... How fitting. Studio cliche. Fitting. Very much. Well, this has been Bloom Plays. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time with a hopefully much better game. Bye!